Yo, Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Make sure you share that link with your friends, colleagues, whatever, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever you're into. Like always, hola, como estas? Yankees fans, when I talk about Gary Sanchez, Gary Sanchez defensively, he is not consistent, okay? The Yankees front office says the same thing. People around the Yankees, they say the same thing. People that have worked with Gary Sanchez, they say the same thing. Sure, he's young. But in my opinion, defensively, he's never going to improve. That's just him, okay? But the reason why the Yankees, if they're going to go out this offseason and obtain a catcher, it makes sense to keep Gary Sanchez as a DH slash platoon catcher. People are throwing the idea, plug him over there at first base. Here's why Gary Sanchez as a DH makes sense. Gary Sanchez is making about 600 k a year till 2020 okay Gary Sanchez we all know he can be an offensive juggernaut this is not the real Gary Sanchez that we have seen all season but I do believe that El Gary Sanchez El Kraken will finish off strong I say this because of his at bats I see Gary Sanchez going literally going into the ground and connecting with balls okay before he wasn't doing that that means Gary Sanchez is focused and he's tracking the ball well. Now, I see a lot of people saying trade Gary Sanchez, but it doesn't make sense trading Gary Sanchez. He's making around 600 k a year. Makes absolutely no sense. The reason why it doesn't make sense is because the Yankees are obviously looking this offseason to obtain a catcher. Whatever you hear that supposedly they're not, the Yankees are going out there this offseason and they are going to try to obtain JT Realmuti. I see people co constantly saying, no, the, the Marlins are going to build around him. Just forget about it. Jeter is going to stick with him. Who knows? But I do know the Yankees, they want a defensive catcher that can offensively contribute as well. So yes, if that's the angle that the Yankees are headed, they need to stick with Gary Sanchez. And after, see what they do with, let's say, large contracts. Because we all know that the H slot is occupied. Like I keep saying numerous times, I like John Carlo Stanton, but it makes absolutely no sense to have a DH that's making about over thirty million dollars per season. It makes no sense when you got a guy that's making around six hundred K and he's a free agent when twenty twenty three or something like that. And I keep seeing comments, oh, nobody is going to take Stanton. Trust me, a team like the Dodgers is going to be interested in John Carlos Stanton. Now, that doesn't mean the Yankees are going to trade Stanton. But you can't have, let's say, a Manny Machado, a Harper. You can still stick with Stanton, but people see him as a DH. So what I'm saying here is that it makes more sense to keep a player making around 600 k rather than a player making around $32 million per season that's putting up the same numbers and then you have the flexibility to still upgrade and sign a free agent. And I'm talking about a player that's not going to be required to DH, okay? That's the whole problem I have with the DH slot. There's obvious players on the Yankees that would prefer to DH once in a while or maybe long term due to, let's say, a long season. And Gary Sanchez fits that profile. People are leaving comments saying, oh, Felix, you like Gary Sanchez now. I've always liked Gary Sanchez. Obviously, when a player is hitting 181, obviously you're going to critique him. Obviously, when a player is not defensively performing as well, and he's had that issue for over two seasons now, I mean, he's going to deserve that criticism. But I've always said I like Gary's bat, and it makes more sense to keep Gary Sanchez and uh, open up that DH spot next season. I mean, the Yankees are going to have to do that. If the Yankees don't go out there and get a catcher, in my opinion, the Yankees should just flip Gary Sanchez for uh, starting pitching. So it's really, it comes down to if the Yankees don't do anything, they're going to stay with the same team they have this season, which is all right. But we need to see Gary Sanchez turn it around when it comes to catching a full season. I mean, it's obvious that he can't. And it's obvious that that DH spot needs to become more available. That's all I'm saying. All I know this offseason is going to be real interesting. A whole bunch of great players are going to become free agents. And um, the Yankees are not going to stand idle. That's all I'm saying. And some teams are going to miss out on players. 
like the Dodgers. They might miss out on Harper and Machado. They have other options. They might ring up the Yankees and say, hey, do you want to work out a deal for Stanton? That's all I'm saying. I'm saying that John Cole Stanton needs to finish off the season strong, have a good playoff run. If he doesn't, then what I'm saying, in my opinion, something like that might pop up. I'm just saying. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Major League Baseball fans, leave your comments as well. Like always, this has been Felix from LYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you on next time.